Paul, a, a good result on Saturday. The team finally managed to to take a lot of the, the chances they created, um, despite it being a bit more nervy towards the end. How how did you kind of feel about finally getting that that satisfying win uh, under your belt? Yeah, it was pleasing. I think the performance levels at Peterhead were. Uh, a lot more positive than the previous week at, at home here. So uh, to go away and pick up four points on the road isn't the end of the world as much as probably our uh, performances merited more in terms of Peter Head and, and no taking the chances. So the start of the, the first half, it took a wee bit longer than we would have liked probably to get a goal with the opportunities we created, but the, the patience that the boys showed was pleasing. Uh, and then, like you say, the, the game with that, that one decision was was flipped on its head when we were hoping for a, a lot more comfortable afternoon than it ended up. And that decision could have made the outcome a, a lot worse than it than it actually was. And uh, I guess that it's it's good news that it's uh, the appeal was successful and uh, Stevie's back in contention to to play again. Yeah, I mean on both counts, obviously the, the, when you get a sending off, it can it can affect the the outcome of the game and, and you never ever get that back. But the fact we managed to win the game and, and manage it uh, with the ten men was really pleasing. And then common sense obviously prevailed and, and Steve is available again for Saturday. So the outcome for us is, is uh, pleasing on both counts really. And. A performance like that and a, a win like that has surely done a, a lot to lift everybody's spirits. I hope so. I hope so. I, I think I continually say about the the need to start getting results a bit more consistently and and we need to start finding that somehow. And, and obviously we've, we've steadied the ship over the last couple of weeks after uh, a game without the risk of repeating myself after the last home game. So it would be nice to start making this place a bit more like a fortress and, and being a bit more difficult to beat at home and managing games a bit better and that's our next uh, hurdle to overcome and hopefully we can start that tomorrow. And is there a, maybe an air of extra motivation about this game given what happened in the reverse fixture? I, I, I don't think so, no, hugely. I mean, it, it probably does add to it for the players' point of view, but for our point of view, we've... We look back at that game, the, the way it happened, the, the post-match analysis, so to speak. We look at that and we, we pick the bones out of it, and that's probably been our biggest disappointment uh, this season when we were doing okay and and uh, Alo pretty much dominated that day. We were nothing like ourselves at all. So uh, if it adds to the motivation of the players and and it helps us, so be it. But from our point of view, it's uh, ultimately the same outcome as, as three points if you can get them. And just. Ahead of this game, how's the how's the squad looking and in, in training and in, in, in fitness wise? Good. It's, it's been a, another pretty positive week. Uh, Ryan's back back in contention. I know he was back in contention last week, but he had a bit of discomfort uh, as the night developed on the Friday. But we've managed to uh, sort that. So fingers crossed. There's there's nothing major tonight, and Ryan will be uh, in contention to be involved. Uh, Cammy Williamson's still out. Seb Ross comes back into contention as well. He's trained the latter end of the week. Uh, that leaves me just Callum Morrison, which is uh, getting there again, just taking his time and, and getting better as, as time passes. So hopefully he'll not be too far away and back sooner than, than certainly we hoped at one stage. OK, Paul, thank you very much. All right. Cheers, Adam. Thank you very much.